Houston Station, we are ready for the event. Okay, well, we are all uh, gathered here in our final moments on board the International Space Station as Crew 5 is getting ready to depart. We just wanted to uh, take a couple moments to express our thoughts and to give our thanks to the tons of people on Earth that have helped to make this, uh, this possible. Um, it's been an incredible expedition and I've been um, so honored just to be a part of it. I would like to begin by thanking my crewmates because you guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, we have trained together a long time and we've got uh, many challenges while on board the space station and every time we were encountered with a challenge, uh, we had a, a solution among the crew, among the folks on the ground. We had each other's back. We picked up uh, when each other needed that help. Um, Josh specifically, as an incredible pilot, as an astronaut, uh, truly a professional, his attention to detail is amazing. And I can't tell you how many times that has uh, saved all of us as we're screaming through a procedure and he catches uh, the one thing that's really important. So thank you for that, Josh. Uh, Magda Koichi. Such a wealth of knowledge, it's just incredible. Uh, you know, when you have a question in your mind or you're not sure about something, step number one, ask Koichi because uh, he's probably, if he hasn't seen it before, like that exact same thing, he's probably seen something uh, very similar. And so uh, he always has helped us out with that. Anya has been an incredible uh, crewmate and a cosmonaut. She got uh, thrown into our training with a lot of uncertainty and was able to absorb of all of this information. Uh, truly a professional cosmonaut, so uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a great being a part of Expedition 68. Uh, it's incredible just to look out the window and realize the amazing things that we're doing in low Earth orbit. And it's also fun to realize that we're just a tiny part of this uh, exploration in space. Uh, this beginning of a new era that we have been talking about for a very long time, it, it has begun. And so you're seeing just uh, this influx of commercial partners in low Earth orbit, of astronauts flying to low Earth orbit that are other than government astronauts. You're seeing um, additional international partners joining our expeditions in space. And it's just incredible to see all of us coming together as a human species. Uh, as we look forward to Orion and Artemis, uh, our sustained human presence on the moon and eventually to Mars. This is the beginning of a very exciting time and it's really a privilege just to be a small part of that. Well, first of all, uh, I know I speak for all of Crew 5 here when I, uh, I thank Duke for her leadership uh, in getting us here and getting us back. Um, if you ever lose sight of the big picture, uh, Duke's going to make sure that uh, you remedy that in a hurry. Um, and so uh, I just feel so, so lucky to be a part of all of this uh, Crew 5 Expedition 68. Um, before we started, our flight director referred to Expedition 68 as the Iron Man. Um, and that was before the universe started throwing curveballs our way. Um, and then it got really crazy. Um, while we were up here, uh, we did six spacewalks. Uh, we installed two solar arrays. Uh, we built the infrastructure for two more solar arrays. And we fixed a broken old one. Um, we had f five cargo vehicles, I think, um, along with all the science and hardware that comes along with that. Uh, so that we could support hundreds of experiments and thousands of researchers around the planet. Um, so we had a job to do, um, and that job started, at least for Crew 5, it started in October uh, on the launch pad at uh, 39A. And the only reason we were able to do that was through the efforts of thousands of people. Uh, our trainers, uh, our trainers in Houston, our trainers around the globe, uh, the operational teams around the globe, and the, the subject matter experts, the people who know the systems inside and out, uh, we could not have begun uh, to start to solve these problems without your support. Um, and then for the decades leading up to that, uh, our friends and family uh, who have supported us every step of the way, including every second of Expedition 68 while we've been up here, uh, to every one of you, uh, we just want to say thank you. And we hope that we made you proud. If we didn't, don't tell us until we get home in a couple days. Uh, but, but thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Duke. Thank you, Josh, and thank you, Anna. And it's been a real pleasure to, to work with you. And I have been a really lucky person to be able to work with this super crew of Crew 4 and Expedition 68. 
Um, it's a, a bittersweet feeling that I have uh, leaving this uh, wonderful space station and going home pretty soon. And each time when we encounter the challenges, we overcome because of the teamwork that we had among the crew members and also with the mission control centers around the world. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who supported us through the training and the operation day to day, day and night at all of the mission control center all around the world. Because of your effort, we were able to accomplish so many things on board the space station. Now, uh, as we leave uh, the space station, um, the space station is in the good hands of uh, Sergey and his crew of Expedition 68. We will miss you a lot and uh, good luck and thank you again for your support. And uh, let me speak in Japanese if you don't mind. Mamoraku Uchu Station, ISS O Tachimas. え、このインクリメントでは様々な課題に直面 構造を取り付けるという仕事に参加できたことをとても嬉しく思っています。え、これからジャクソンの宇宙飛行士古川宇宙飛行士が次に続きますけども、彼にバトンをし、え、渡して、え、支援をしていきたいというふうに思っています。